Uh, Royal Family Kids Camp is uh, designed to take kids in the foster care system and show them the love of God for a week, perhaps maybe for the first time, uh, how much God loves them and how important they are as little people. From the moment the kids step off the bus, we are cheering for them. We have signs for them with their names on them that say um, their name and the definition of their name. Royal Family Kids Camp is a place for kids who have been abused, abandoned, and neglected to come for one week where they receive love, fun, and laughter. I think this camp is so special because it brings kids with a past that is difficult. Um, and sometimes challenging and they come here and they can just be kids and some of these kids have never experienced that before and so these kids they light up and they feel like their lives are worth something. You know we've got a giant slide out there, we've got a Nerf gun activity, we've got all the sporting events, they get to go climbing a wall and they get to go swimming. The birthday party is usually on, on Wednesday so that's another huge thing you know for these kids that a lot of them don't get a a huge birthday party or even maybe a birthday party at all. They get gifts that has been specifically chosen for them and they just light up and they get their own birthday cake and it's just a big party for about two hours and it's really fun. It's probably my favorite thing to see them just enjoy that birthday party. Royal Family Kids Camp is a place where hope and restoration can happen in a moment where simple acts of love can turn the corner of a kid and change the trajectory of their life. RFK is a unique platform to speak truth into their lives about how God loves them and their true identities about who they are. And I think it positively affects their trajectory forever. By midweek of this camp, you get to see a joy on their faces that is so pure and beautiful that it just gives you this awesome, profound sense of hope and a conviction that we are all called to serve and help in some way. When we respond to that call, we get to see that the unimaginably broken becomes unimaginably restored just by simple and obedient acts of love.